A longtime Virgin Islands tradition is experiencing a revival thanks to the St. Thomas Historical Trust and its workshop on furniture caning. It has been a territory-wide effort to help pass along the technique of this craft. Our USVI News' Ali Bornvenek has more on how caning is taking off now, stronger than ever. Inside the St. Thomas Historical Trust, about a dozen VI residents are hard at work learning the ins and outs of a VI tradition called furniture caning, an art that Virgin Islander Keith Richards was widely known for, now passed down to family like his daughter, Chenille. When he did his chairs, I you know, stood there, he told me what to do, and you know, I was able to um, you know, enjoy and got excited about even learning it more and even teaching the class also. Teaching furniture caning is in Chenille's blood, her father, an expert caner, was preparing to teach it at the St. Thomas Historical Trust, but sadly passed away. He did a lot of work for Senator Myron Jackson also. You know, a lot of his work he did with him also. His memory lives on in his creations and this workshop, where everyone is excited to learn and build up a craft that hasn't been seen as much. Caning a chair is like a pattern, so there's seven steps. You have to, you, you realize when something is wrong, even though you might not be a pro at it, by, you know, working on it, you say, oh, something is wrong here, you rip it out, you start again, you know, so it just gives you a gratification that, you know, you're passing on, you're preserving history, you're preserving a culture that has been gone for a long time. Through the help of these workshops at the St. Thomas Historical Trust, Furniture Canyon is now back on the scene in the territory, bringing more teachers into the fold and 14 new caners to the craft. This is a traditional cane, cane chair now, and it's really gratifying, I think, not just for me, but for everybody involved to be able to do this with their, with their family members and carry on a tradition that comes from their family and to carry on the culture a, a, culture, a cultural tradition that's important in the Virgin Islands. Okay, this is a mahogany chair. They generally say 8 to 12 hours, but this is taking a lot longer. Um, if you miss one step or weave, you have to take the chair down to, I say, ground zero, strip it out. So it's taking more than 25 hours. This art has been somewhat stagnant and almost was to the point of extinction. And because of this particular class and the individuals that are involved in it now, it has started a spark. And hopefully because of that, we will be able to continue to do this, this tradition or cultural type of art that we've had in the past for so many years. I know he's here. I always, when I'm here in this class or in this space, I feel his presence because I could hear him saying to me, you know, no, that doesn't look right. Or, you know, uh -uh, take that out. You know, but he did a lot of, he did a lot of work here in the Virgin Islands. He did a lot of work for the government. Um, government house. He did a lot of the chairs. He did work at West Indian Company Dock. So his mark, he laid a foundation and he has, you know, set a standard for everyone to follow. He leaves a legacy where Virgin Islanders can preserve history and culture in the palms of their hands. In St. Thomas, Ali Bornvenek, USVI News.